Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how you can create your own sort list, your own custom sort list. So what I've got on the screen is a list of people and a list of grades. Now if I just do a normal sort on this list, so if I just go to data A to Z say, all the A's are going to come to the top, if I go Z to A, all the E's are going to come to the top in this list. But what if I don't want it to do it like that? I want it to do it by appointment, the highest appointment or the lowest appointment in the list. So on this little table here, I've got a list of what these, these words means or these two letters mean. So executive director, executive officer, that should be, put an R on it, and admin officer and admin assistant. So that is the order, the presidents, if you like, that I want this list to be sorted in. So the, the most, most important people at the top and the least important people at the bottom. They're not really least important, but that's how I want it sorted. Now, it, I can't actually do that without creating a custom sort list. So this is what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to highlight this list and I want to add that to custom sort. Now to do that, you need to go File, Options, and once you're in Options, you need to go into the Advanced option, and then if you scroll all the way down, you can come to Edit Custom Lists. Now because I've got that area selected, I can now just go Import, and it will sit in here with the rest. And then you can see it there. Now if I click OK, that's great, and OK again. Now to use it, I need to click into the table, anywhere in the table. In this case, I'm going to click into that column. So I want um, ED to be the top, followed by E-O-A-O-A-A. -A -A. I go to the Data tab, I click on Sort, and it's on the grade column, but I don't want to do Z to A. I need it to do Custom List, and the Custom List is that one I've just created, so it's going to sort in that order. Click OK to that and OK again. And then you get the EDs coming to the top, followed by EO and so on and so on, AO and AA down the bottom there. Because that's the order I want it to be in. So that's how you can create a custom sort. So I'm going to do that again with this list. So I've got three items there. So if I just copy one of each, using my control key to drag over and copy while I'm dragging it, just put them in there. So this is how you can sort of force the sort to be in the order that you want as opposed to an alphabetical order. Let's just put that one there. So there's your the order. Let's say, um, let's just get rid of that colour. So let's say you want leadership to be first. So let's put leadership to the top and then Equal Ops Training wants to be next. Let's put that there, followed by Microsoft Office Training. So that's the the presidents you want, and I'm just going to get rid of these borders, make sure there's no weird and wonderful things attached to it, so it's a clean list. So I do the same thing again, you highlight the list in the order that you want the list, you go File, Options, Advanced Options, scroll right down to the bottom of this list and get yourself into Edit Custom Lists. You've got it selected selected import the list and there it is okay to that okay to this box now once you've done that you can then use it so I'll, I'll click into this list now so I want to sort by the custom list so leadership comes to the top followed by equal ops and then Microsoft Office so back to data sort it's picking up grade but I want it on course attended and I want it by a custom list and the custom list is that one that I've just added. Then I click OK and OK again. So leadership followed by Equal Ops followed by Microsoft Office is how I want it. That's great. Now once you've done uh, this list or added these lists, they're available in any Excel file that you create in the future or any Excel file that you open that you've already created. So if I just do Control N for new and then go to data and sort, uh, I've got to put a list in there first, so let's just type a list, so I can type that list, E, E, O, I should be able to 
pull that down and it remembers the list whatever you type first it will go forever and ever that's another benefit of doing it by the way same if I do equal ops I can then just pull that down and it'll do that list so this list if I go sort um, console server on custom lists even though I'm in a new file that's what I want it sorting by click OK OK it does it for me if I want that sorting now we need to do this is a row obviously so I need to go into options on this one and sort left to right and it's going to be row 3 and it still wants to be a custom list and this one is going to be that one OK OK and there we go so basically that's how you can create your own lists and get Excel to sort by the list order that you've created so hopefully that is of use to you thank you for your time and I'll see you in the next one